brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Of course, we all know that suicide is a, a real issue on this island, uh, something that we really need to uh, take seriously. In an effort to win the battle against teen suicide, Deputy Superintendent Chris Anderson said DOE is hoping to provide additional support at the school level. The agency is partnering with the Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center to implement an evidence-based curriculum called Lifelines, which is a comprehensive suicide awareness and responsiveness program for teens, resulting from over 20 years of suicide in youth research. And it's got three components. It's uh, the prevention, the intervention and postvention aspects of dealing with suicide. Beginning Tuesday, administrators from schools throughout the island attended the three-day training. Southern High School Principal Jim Regis. Considering that in the more recent year, um, suicide amongst teens has been somewhat an increase. And so, you know, from the training today, we're looking at postvention and ways of after such a crisis has happened, how do we as administrators respond to that crisis? He said the training helped correct myths about best practices that may have been used in the past. It also made recommendations on how to remain sensitive to family members while also ensuring the safety of the school community. For example, permanent memorials at the school should be avoided as they could affect the student body. So we're learning several, several strategies with, again, how to deal with loss within our school community. DOE is also implementing a new student-centered approach that allows health teachers to pass on the curriculum to students. So this particular initiative is designed to try and empower our students uh, to be a little bit more uh, perceptive and aware, situationally aware of uh, any of their classmates that may be dealing with the issue of suicide. And then uh, being able to make sure that they're referred and get the, the proper help to address the issue. And we think that that's a, a definite investment because uh, students are more likely to, co to confide with each other than they are with adults. The program should be fully implemented in secondary schools this year. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.